Hello everyone, welcome back to Newsroom. I'm Chella Smith. This is your Middle East U.S. entertainment news here on YouTube. I air on Fridays. I bring you the latest on reforms and economics Iraq based on reports put out by the Middle East news media outlets. I do this weekly review and it's based off my interest. Thank you everyone for joining me. Last week we talked about the Federal Supreme Court, the United Nations Water Conference held in New York, the National Bank of Iraq starting its business in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia regarding the banking sector, electronic fuel, and the POS, industrial, agriculture, and the housing sector. Let's take a look at this week's headlines. Shabak News reports the DESM Alliance calls on Friday to expedite the sending of the budget law to the Finance Committee for the purpose of studying it and replacing it on the agenda of Parliament. The Alliance of the Resolve calls on the first Vice President of the House of Representatives and the Deputy Speaker of Parliament to expedite the transformation of the general budget law from the Presidency of Parliament to the Finance Committee for the purpose of studying it and replacing it on the agenda of councils at the earliest session. The Speaker of the Iraqi Council of Representatives, Mohammed al habalsi granted himself on Thursday a 15-day leave starting from April 3rd, while he authorized his first deputy to manage the session of council. And on Monday, March 13th, the Iraqi Council of Ministries approved the draft budget law for the year 2023, 2024, and 2025, and has referred it to the House of Representatives. The last budget approved in Iraq dated back to April 2021, while it was not adopted in the 2022 due to the political turmoil that paralyzed the country for a year after the last legislation of elections. The Central Bank of Iraq identified four measures to support the strength of the Iraqi dinar, while confirming that its packages have met most demands and contributed to the decline of the dollar. The announcement of the problem of the dollar contracts was addressed for some departments. The Central Bank has taken a set of packages to support the Iraqi dinar's power process, promote external transfers, trading, financing, and study. According to the Assistant Director, General of the Investment Department of the Bank, Mohammed Yunus, in an interview. Yunus added that the dollar began to decline against the dinar continuously as a result of packages that met most of the Iraqi market's demands, noting that they contributed to reducing the difference between the officials and parallel exchange rates. Iraq is an importer of everything, and therefore the size of the large demands for the dollar sometimes makes it strong against the dinar pointing out that the central bank's actions are supported by the decisions of the prime minister and the cabinet. He also stressed the need to combine all efforts to support the strength of the dinar through measures, firstly, to support the local markets, secondly, to reduce the import operations, and thirdly, to continue the markets, and fourth, to control border crossings. Noting that most of the markets have started dealing with the Iraqi dinar, and this will contribute to supporting it. He then went on to point out that some circles face a problem because their contracts are in dollars, but the Council of Ministers and the Central Bank began to solve these problems, stressing that Iraq has more than 130 tons of gold. Baghdad Mawazine News reports the Prime Minister Mohammed Shia Sudani discusses on Thursday with the resident representative of the IMF, the International Monetary Fund, cooperation in the field of supporting financial policy and plans. Al Sudani met with the resident representative of the International Monetary Fund in Iraq to discuss Iraq's relationship with the IMF and cooperation in supporting financial policy and plan with which both contributes to achieving the stability of Iraq's economy. The Prime Minister's media office said in a statement with Mawazine News that the meeting witnessed the discussion of the importance of financial and administrative reforms adopted by the government and the support of its efforts to combat corruption. Euphrates News reported the U.S. Senate voted on Wednesday to rescind the 2002 action that gave the green light to March 2003 invasion of Iraq. This vote came at a time when Congress is seeking to reaffirm its role in sending troops to fight outside the United States. Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell is radically opposed to the legislation, saying last week the Congress should not hand seize U.S. leaders in the Middle East, stressing that the mandate is 
is important in Iraq today because it provides powers for the U.S. forces there to defend themselves from a variety of pressing real threats. This bill will be submitted once it's finally passed to the House. Council President Kevin McCarthy told reporters last week that there would be support for those efforts as long as he remains a part of the delegation of the use of military force to the war on terror. Biden has previously declared support for the Delmate, while the White House said Biden is committed to working with Congress to ensure that outly outdated authorization for use of military force are replaced with a narrow, specific framework appropriate to ensure we continue to protect Americans from terrorist threats. The U.S. Constitution gives Congress the power to declare war before it gives power to the president when lawmakers pass endless, eternal war laws, such as the 2002 Iraq Action, which allows fighting against al-Qaeda and its affiliated groups after the September 11, 2001 attacks. Euphrates News reports the executive director of the Association of the Iraqi Banks, Ali Tariq, issues the card payment at fuel filling stations and the fees for this. Tariq says in a statement that the Central Bank of Iraq and the oil products distribution company are working to convert the payment process for refueling at all stations in Iraq with the payment card of all kinds, whether it's prepaid, creditor, or debit, and gradually providing electronic payment points in them, the POS. He added that the fees in each recharge will be only 1% of the value of the fuel price and up to a maximum of 300 Iraqi dinars. When you provide fuel worth more than 30,000 dinars to any amount, the fees will only be 300 dinars. He pointed out that the nine stations will switch to the electronic payment from next April. Shabak News then went on to report that the Central Bank of Iraq announces the withdrawal of license of brokering companies for the sales and purchase of foreign currencies for not fulfilling the merger requirements. The bank said in a statement with the Shafak News that based on the decision of the board of directors of bank number 47 of 2023, it was decided to withdraw the license of Rehana company to mandate the sales and purchases of foreign currencies for not fulfilling the merger conditions. The bank calls on the Ministry of Commerce to cancel the certificate of incorporation granted to the company in addition to removing the name of the company from the records and providing the central bank with a certified liquidation letter. The Central Bank of Iraq was established as an independent body under its law issued on March 6, 2004 after it was linked before the date of Ministry of Finance and is responsible for maintaining price stability and implementing monetary policy and also overseeing 10 commercial banks, 26 private banks, 16 Islamic banks, in addition to 19 foreign banks, as well as six financial institutions and 31 financial transfer companies. Shafak News reports Iraq, Syria, Lebanon, and Jordan sign on Monday a quadripartite memorandum of understanding for cooperation in the agriculture field and enhanced trade exchange to achieve integration between the four countries. The memorandum included strengthening and developing cooperation in the agriculture field, both plant and animal, exchanging experiences, information and in successful agriculture experiences, and managing reserves and gardens between the four countries. It's also included cooperation in the fields of firefighting, climate change, and rural development, agriculture extension, productions, animal health, and veterinarian medicine. The agreement is starting basis for joint work and cooperation in the agriculture sector on which the Arab people depend on the provides markets for the disposal of products of the four countries. Iraqi's Ministry of Agriculture, Abbas al-Alawi says, last year the four ministers held three meetings where meetings were held in Iraq in February, the second meeting in Lebanon in July, while in September the third meeting was held in Jordan. And lastly, Shafak News reports the Central Bank of Iraq records its largest financial reserves in the country's history. The government's financial advisor says on Tuesday, the Prime Minister's advisor for financial affairs, Mauser Mohammad Shaleh, said in a press statement seen by Shafak News Agency that the Central Bank's reserves are currently the largest in Iraq's history after reaching $115 billion. Shaleh considers that the Iraqi economy is strong and faces crisis, 
easily, and the situation is moving towards improvement. Noting that Iraq is towards gradually improving the digital payment climates and compliance towards the world. He stressed that the packages launched by the central bank are smart and give reassurance to the Iraqi citizens, explaining that we have entered a stage of digital payments correctly in Iraq. And on January 19th, the central bank of Iraq announced significant growth in its foreign currency reserves last year. Deputy Governor of the Central Bank of Iraq, Amir Hamad says that January 23rd, that the reserves of the central bank amounted to more than 99 billion. The Iraqi Council of Ministers has approved the adoption of the decision of the central bank of Iraq to raise the value of the dinar against the dollar to 1,300 dinars instead of 1,470 dinars in a move aimed at enhancing the value of the local currency. The rise in oil prices over the past year, which in some months reached more than $100 per barrel, contributing to the the rise in the Iraqi financial revenues, which was positively reflected in the rise in Iraq's hard currency reserves. And you've been watching Newsroom Weekly Review. I'm Chella Smith, your Middle East to U.S. entertainment news on reforms and economics Iraq. I bring you the latest in our news without having to keep up with all the different outlets. I'm here on YouTube every Friday, so don't forget to subscribe and turn those notification bells on. If you like my content, give me a thumbs up. If you really like my content, you can always leave a super thanks. Again, thank you for being a subscriber and thank you for visiting Newsroom Chella Smith for your trusted Dinar news. I'll see you guys next week. Take care. Take care.